Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. I'm really glad to see you all here. So thanks for watching and please make sure you're subscribed not to miss our next videos. And please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave your comment. So today, guys, we are going to talk about five top reasons why to move to Nova Scotia and top five reasons why not to move to Nova Scotia. So let's get started. So first of all, I would like to start about uh, my favorite number one uh, reason is people. People in Nova Scotia is really, really friendly and warm. So people there are more, I don't know, maybe happier. And I think it's because of the pace of life, right? If there is the pace of life, there is a little bit slower and people are more relaxed uh, and they are like enjoying their lives. Now I know how it feels to live in Toronto and to live in Halifax, right? People in Halifax are more like um, more welcoming and more uh, I know like they always smiling, they always saying you hi, sorry, uh, like have a nice day, something like that. And what I found here in Toronto, people are more like uh, maybe concentrated or focused on their. Uh, like private life and on their stuff they are doing or on their business, right? I have a very funny story when we just started uh, living in uh, Toronto and I tried to become a friend to all of our concierges uh, in our building so I try like to have a small talk with them I always try to smile and to say hi to learn their names uh, but you know it's not working. <laughs> so every time I say hi, uh, Eleanor, for example, I say hi, and that's it. So now I'm not trying anymore, but just to let you know that yes, if you're looking to find some very nice uh, people, so I think Nova Scotia is a great place to start and to live in. The next Second reason uh, is uh, the ocean and uh, the nature itself. Yeah, maybe it's like very predicted, but for me this part was really important um, as there is numerous of beautiful, very beautiful beaches. And, uh, and one more thing I really like there, this is an opportunity to whale watch. So if you are in Nova Scotia or you're even planning just to go or visit for a short period of time, please make sure you visit in the right months. For example, if you are willing to whale watch, go like I think from the end of uh, spring and to the middle of fall. So this is the like half a year, a period when, when you can whale watch. And there is of course, there is different kind of um, places uh, but for me I asked numerous Canadians uh, so I'm not just Google it because Google will give you the most marketed one and very fancy or uh, whatever with no guarantee but the only place that gives guarantee of whale watching is Digby uh, and there I had one of the best experience in my life we saw the, so many whales and I just it was like Oh my god it's just like water on the hand and oh my god this is, was really incredible they were so close and they wave us so this was the really really the best moment in my life and also seals there is a numerous of seals and you can see them like everywhere and once we had also very nice uh, vacation in cottage in the one of the place in uh, Nova Scotia and we saw 10 of seals and they were like oh my god so cute with their like funny noises so that's why ocean and nature itself this is really important part in um, Nova Scotia and the third reason for me was um, maybe let's call it the distance it's really easy to get uh, to the place you want and for example if you live in downtown and you want to go to the store or some beach it can take you like maybe 10 20 30 minutes so it's pretty easy and almost you will never feel the traffic so this was actually really important part that you will not spend a lot of time to commute to your work 
for example, or like to go to the seaside or whatever it is. And the fourth reason especially is for foodies. The seafood is really, really amazing. And I'm just like encouraging you. I'm just like, uh, I'm begging you, please, if you are in Nova Scotia, try a lobster. If you can't afford uh, going to the restaurant and pay like 40 or $50 per lobster, I totally understand you. But you can actually go to the small fishermen villages or just there is special shows where they, the people are selling the freshly just catched from the ocean food like scallops, uh, fish, lobsters, whatever you like. So I will really, really encourage you to try it and you will be very, very happy because the lobsters in Nova Scotia is yummy. I tried lobsters in Spain and I tried lobsters in Thailand, but honestly, lobsters in Nova Scotia is much, much better. I'm Guaranteed. And of course, if you like uh, drink cider or beer, there is numerous of breweries that will uh, give you the excellent choice and the best uh, flavors. And the fifth reason is uh, affordability. If you want to have a beautiful house with an ocean view or with a lake view, you will need to go to Nova Scotia if to compare with other provinces all over the Canada. So you can buy a house for around like uh, 300k or 400k and of course the, big, the bigger house the bigger price. And now let's move to reasons why you should not move to Nova Scotia. And let's start from number one. It's actually opportunities. Yes, there is less opportunities. And if you're looking for a good job, it will take you a lot of time to find uh, a good job with a nice wage. Currently, uh, Nova Scotia has uh, the hourly minimum wage about $12.95 sense so it's not really big if to, we are comparing to other provinces the life itself it's almost the same prices in in toronto if we are talking about food or utilities or gas or um, like cars or clothes and other stores right so yeah if you want to find a job you should really you should really really do a lot of work and find a lot of people because what i found uh, living in Nova Scotia for like more than two years. The recommendations are really, really important. So if you don't know any people and uh, it will be really hard for you to find a, a good job. And let's not forget about taxes, right? We have 15% of taxes. So it's also a little bit higher than in other provinces. A reason for me number two is a healthcare, which is also really important. And uh, it will take you months to find a um, family doctor. Uh, when I moved to uh, Toronto, I found a um, family doctor like for one week something like that. Uh, so it was pretty easy. I found like a lot of a lot of clinics has everyone has shown okay looking for the new patients accepting new patients so it's really easy here and i remember how hard it was in nova scotia to find a family doctor and of course if you're looking to get some appointment with another with particular specialist it will take you like uh, half a year something like that around like that it also depends on specialists for example dermatologist i was waiting for my dermatologist for uh, six months and i think this is crazy so yeah if you're looking to move to nova scotia just be ready to have a very very slow system of healthcare. N the reason number three is the weather it's not so hot in the summer and it's not so cold in the winter but during the winter time or even during the summertime you will have a lot of snowstorm and during the summer you will have a lot of like rainy days and be ready to stay without electricity or internet for a couple of days i remember last year we had a storm and we lost our power internet hot water for four days four days and for me this uh, like honestly it was really weird that the cable of electricity are built not under the ground but it's like 
about and you will see a lot of cables and old cables all around the city if the weather is a little bit windy you could stay easily without power for a couple of hours the same is with snowstorm if you have a snowstorm the city dies and the last reason is entertainment right we have a beautiful nature have a lot of trails and beaches but we don't have other entertainment yeah it it could be boring if you have if you want to have a lot of fun and to do some cool stuff it will be difficult to find in Nova Scotia so this is it please do not forget to subscribe to my channel put me thumbs up and comment to this video I would be really really happy and I would really appreciate this so guys see you soon bye